at my rock bottom. I was weighing about seven. That's crazy. 725 pounds. 725. The last time ago. I seen Dr. Smith was about nine months ago, and I was around 420 pounds. He told me I had to lose 100 pounds before my next appointment. Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about 1,000 Pound Sisters, or more specifically, really, Tammy Slayton. She is back in the news because of actually her incredible weight loss and the progress that she has made. It's actually been pretty insane to see the change that she has made, especially because in the beginning of 1,000 Pound Sisters, she was definitely the sister that a lot of people were like, man, she is just really struggling a lot more than Amy was. It was it was very much so there was a back and forth between who was going to be successful and it definitely did not seem like Tammy was going down the right path and she has completely switched that narrative, I feel like, and it's been really, really cool. Uh, so the first thing that I want to talk about is actually this article from People, um, which actually has a clip from the episode that will be coming out. I think it's coming out today as I'm recording this. Um, and it actually has her doctor, Dr. Eric Smith, and he's kind of, you know, kind of talking about um, how he feels seeing her at her most recent, uh, their most recent checkup. So let's go ahead and, and play this and then we'll read the article as well. You look awesome, by the way. Thank you. Um, no wheelchair. Yeah, I took um, over the wheelchair for her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No wheelchair. She had the trach in her neck. You know, it was it was crazy. It's crazy seeing the difference now. At my rock bottom, I was weighing about seven. That's crazy. Seven hundred and twenty-five pounds. And twenty-five. The last time ago. I seen Doctor Smith was about nine months ago, and I was around four hundred and twenty pounds. He told me I had to lose 100 pounds before my next appointment. I'm extremely nervous. I honestly, so when I see this and like seeing what I've seen from, from the doctor, I would be surprised if he actually told her that she had to lose 100 pounds. I feel like that's kind of a trope that we have seen in these shows that gets kind of used a lot. But I would be surprised if he actually said, you have to lose 100 pounds before I see you again. But again, that's just me putting my opinion in there, so. So this is looking right around 303.8. Crazy. Which I think is unbelievable. You good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Damn, that's five pounds less than what I was at the bar pot. I surpassed Dr. Smith's go, my go, all the goes. <laughs> I'm so ready for skin right <laughs> Yeah, I, I can understand that. And so that, that's the clip right there, right? And I think like going through this article, I think a, a good amount of it is kind of just rehashing what happens during the during what we just watched. So I don't think that we have to read all of that. Um, but it, he goes on to it goes on to say, um, I was absolutely thrilled for Tammy and incredibly proud of her progress, but I'm not surprised, Dr. Smith tells people, Tammy has consistently demonstrated her dedication to making sustainable lifestyle changes to maximize the benefits of her surgery. I've emphasized the importance of making small daily adjustments to ensure not only her continued progress, but her long-term success. Honestly, I like this guy so far from what I've seen from him. Um, he seems like a very level-headed dude, but she truly committed to her health journey. Smith explains that setting goals is, is, is an essential part of weight loss, of, of the weight loss journey. Um, he says he's been working with Tammy, Tammy on shifting her mindset so she's concentrating on daily habits rather than obsessing over end goals, which has led to her life-changing progress. As Tammy continues to make impressive strides in her weight loss journey, she's hoping to qualify for skin removal surgery. I mean, I... I would be surprised if she didn't. Smith notes that they are approaching the point where the procedure is a viable option, which is awesome. Goes on to say, generally, we want patients to have achieved the majority of their weight loss and maintained a stable weight for three to six months before proceeding with skin removal. I agree with that. And this is something that I've talked about before with skin removal. I think a lot of people they they rush to a point where they're like, I just want to lose the weight and then get the skin removal and then I'll be happy. And the thing is, is that we, as we have seen time and time again, losing the weight is relatively easy compared to keeping the weight off. And so I would say three to six months is a little low, but obviously that's coming from someone that's had loose skin for 10 years now. <laughs> so maybe it's a little bit different, but like, I think maintaining that weight and showing not even just like the doctor that you can, but just showing yourself that it's something you can do for an extended period of time 
especially because when you get the skin removal surgery, the amount of mobility you're going to have is going to be significantly lower than what you are used to because of the recovery, right? And we've seen a lot of people that end up losing the weight, getting skin removal surgery, and then gaining a ton of weight back. And so I think that, you know, holding off for a bit of time is recommended. I understand it can be difficult because it, a lot of people really struggle with having loose skin and it really puts them kind of down in the dumps. And I can understand wanting to get through that. But I think it's smart to, you know, live with it and understand how to maintain that weight before you go in for a very serious surgery, right? Um, however, in Tammy's case, she has a significant amount of loose skin that's affecting her mobility and contributing to other health concerns. Given this, it makes sense to consider surgery sooner rather than later, even though she will continue to lose weight in the future. I mean, I can understand that. Again, this is coming from someone that I lost 180, 200 pounds, very different than the amount of weight that she has lost, right? Although Tammy hasn't gotten skin removal surgery yet, Smith tells people there's pure joy when he reflects on her journey. He says um, she often sends him photos of new things she's been able to do since losing so much weight, thanking him for helping her achieve it. That's awesome. For the longest time, I wanted her to not only live a healthier life, but more importantly, to believe that she deserved it. There was a period where she didn't feel worthy of feeling better or living a healthier life. Helping her recognize her self-worth has been just as rewarding as seeing the weight come off. It's been a key factor in her success. That's actually something that's very common with anyone that I think is helping others lose weight. Um, it's something I've noticed with clients of mine is just a lot of it obviously is, you know, being in a deficit, eating less, all that stuff. But a big part of it is the mental aspect of, of realizing you deserve this and like you can do this and it, you know, it's something that you, you deserve to have. Um, every time I feel an overwhelming sense of happiness because she's uh, finding both health and joy, Smith adds, what's truly that's truly all you can wish for in a patient. And then the new, the new, <laughs> the new episode is, is airing today as I am recording this video. And so it's just really cool seeing the difference in her because I remember we uploaded. I'll probably put a clip. We uploaded a, a video like two years ago talking about how Tammy it felt like she was on you know her last legs and things were going really really terrible and it was like dude something has to change and it just goes to show that something did change. You know, growing up Tammy didn't have much money. I can relate. Now she has this money and now people are hanging out with her that can use that money that she has to go out and buy alcohol, go out and buy, you know, whatever nefarious thing you want to talk about um, and, and do these things with her in her home. Right. And so I can see why people are upset with that and they feel like that's definitely not a good thing to be doing. The video that really sparked me wanting to make this uh, this video was a video that was uploaded from TLC. It's called Amy Worries That Tammy Has Hit Rock Bottom. And in this video, there is a part where they're talking about how Amy is upset with Tammy and she just, or she's upset that she's partying as much. She really doesn't think that's a good idea. She really thinks that, you know, those are things that she shouldn't be doing. But she says, I don't want to confront her because I don't want it to become a huge argument. I know what that's like. Uh, but then, you know, of course, the show gets them together and decides to make them talk about it. Is it like anything to be partying right now? Like, what's going on? I am trying to do self-love. Trying to fall in love with myself again and find happiness within myself. That's a good way to be, but there's other outlets you can explore. But what else do I got to do? I don't know. The words and the things that Tammy says, it just, it, it honestly made me so sad. So she goes on to say, basically, I am practicing self-love, and then also. When Amy's like, oh, maybe there's better better ways to practice self-love, she says, like, what else do I have to do? So when I first saw that clip, the thing that the things that really stuck out to me were the self-love and what else do I have to do. So it seems like, especially like Tammy right now, where she's at, she doesn't, it seems like she doesn't see a way forward. Like she's basically it seems like she has given up it seems like i there's no there's there's no way i'm actually going to be able to lose this weight so i might as well just have fun while i'm here right and then the whole self-love thing this is just really interesting because obviously tammy is an extreme example uh, on anything right but when we're talking about like self-love a lot of the people that that criticize that is like well i would self-love myself into eating myself to death that's like something you hear a lot right but it's like it's clear that that 
that idea has permeated into Tammy's mind and she really is using that as almost an excuse to uh, party and drink and just do whatever you want instead of really taking care of yourself. This next Instagram clip is from the actual doctor's Instagram. So Dr. Eric Smith, he he's reacting basically um, or sharing how he feels basically to that People article that we just read. Um, so let's see what he has to say. Not always been easy. It's definitely not been linear. But it's a testament to Tammy finally realizing and embracing that she not only deserved it, but she saw the value in herself and being an advocate for herself and her health. Um, it's also a testament for us as healthcare providers to meet patients where they're at. It's not on our timeline. I really like that because I think a lot of times people, even like coaches, they expect people to just do what they're doing now. Like if I was were to expect, like say, a client of mine to eat exactly how I eat or do exactly what I'm doing now, that's just silly. And I think most people would would would, would see that and be like, why would you expect someone that is just starting their weight loss journey to do what you've been, what now you've been, you've had the weight off for a decade now. Why would you expect them to do exactly what you're doing now, right? It's not always if they're ready when we're ready, we should move forward. It's about supporting patients until they're ready and knowing that they always have someone on their side. So check out this week's episode and you can see the entire reaction to when Tammy came back for her way in along with the entire family. So all in all, I am really happy for Tammy. And I think it goes to show that no matter how lost you might feel or how like you, you, you might feel like, oh, I'm a lost cause. There's nothing that can change. There's no way that I can make this happen. You know, it is possible. Obviously, Tammy has had a lot of support from, you know, TLC and all of that stuff. Not everyone is going to have that. But, you know, not everyone is in the position that Tammy is in, in the dire straits that Tammy was in. You know, if you have 100 pounds, 200 pounds to lose, it might feel like there's nothing that you can do that it's the end of the road there's nothing you know it's, it's a you're a lost cause and I've always said that I think like as long as you put your head down you put the work in you understand that you don't have to be perfect as long as you're doing what is good enough that's good enough you don't have to be perfect I think as long as you kind of stick to those ideals you can make a very serious change in your life and so honestly I'm just really happy for Tammy I think that this is incredible I'm, I'm really stoked to see what she's been able to do um, I hope that she does end up getting that loose skin surgery and it's something because clearly it's the amount of loose skin that she has is is definitely probably very debilitating very frustrating it definitely causes her I'm sure pain and just mobility issues that would be very frustrating but I'm curious what y'all think if you are watching the season what are you thinking about it but please let me know down in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time peace